When you got into the real estate business, you may not have realized all the new roles you're going to be taking on. You're now an overseer of maintenance, chief of marketing, and wait, that can't be right. An exterminator too? Yup. If one of your apartments gets infested with bed bugs, it will typically be your job to fix the situation as a landlord. As if you didn't already have enough on your plate. But hold on a second, because if you're experiencing this, it's important to take the right corrective action to avoid future fines and penalties. You should also know that there are some special circumstances in which you won't be responsible for paying for the bed bug treatment in the unit that you're leasing out. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about your responsibilities regarding bed bugs as a landlord. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back, Loopers. It's Mohamed Obagosh with Dorlu. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that it's usually the landlord's responsibility to resolve the bedbug situation. However, there are some cases in which responsibility shifts to the tenant, such as state laws that require the tenant to pay for the bedbug treatment and other factors that I'll cover later in this video. With that said, here are three things that you'll need to do. The first responsibility that you have as a landlord is hiring a professional pest control service. This is a company that specializes in coming into the apartment building, conducting bed bug inspections, and treating the affected areas. Remember, bed bugs can spread quickly, so you want to get on top of that right away. Another responsibility that you have is informing other tenants in the building about what's going on. As I just mentioned, bed bugs can spread really quickly. So everyone that could be impacted by the situation should be put on notice as soon as you discover the issue. And the last responsibility that you have as a landlord is ensuring that proper treatment is completed. This means verifying that all the bed bugs have been eliminated from the property before having your tenant move back in. Otherwise, you could find yourself back in the same situation a week from now. So to recap, if you're a landlord with bed bug problems, you need to take these three steps, hiring a treatment company, informing other tenants, and ensuring the impacted areas are treated properly before allowing them to move back in. But as mentioned earlier, there are some situations where that responsibility will fall on the tenant themselves. Here are just a few scenarios in which a tenant may be responsible for handling these infestations. Some states do have laws that specifically say that tenants are required to pay for the pest control. New York is just one of these states. Other states have laws saying tenants and landlords should split the cost of treatment. So it's worth reviewing these regulations in your area to see if you can save some money there. Another scenario in which the tenant may be responsible for paying for these treatments is if they cause the infestation themselves. For example, they may have brought infected furniture in with them and in that case, they have to pay to have the unit cleaned. If you have a bed bug infestation, you'll want to know about it as soon as possible to avoid things getting out of control. That's why some states make tenants pay for treatment if they neglect to tell you about the infestation in the first place. So just keep in mind that that's another avenue that you may have for saving money. Next up, you might also have a specific clause in your lease that places the responsibility for pest control on the tenant themselves. And if that clause is a valid one, then the tenant may be responsible for paying for the bed bug treatment, you'll be happy to know. However, these clauses may not be enforceable in all states. It really depends on how courts have ruled on these issues in the past in your jurisdiction. So you may need to check with a lawyer if you're wondering about this in your area. Before we get to the last item on our list, make sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video so far. All right, let's move on. So finally, the last scenario in which a tenant may have to pay is if you have clear rules for pest control that the tenant hasn't followed. That could be another situation where they're responsible for paying for bed bug treatment. So I hope this gives you a pretty clear understanding of what your responsibilities are as a landlord during a bed bug infestation and when you might be able to shift some of the responsibility onto your tenant. But you may still be curious about what could happen if you don't follow through on your responsibilities during a bed bug infestation. In that case, a tenant would have each of the following resources. In these cases, they could take legal action by submitting a lawsuit, file reports with a local housing agency that may fine or penalize you, hire a bed bug exterminator themselves and bill you for it, and lastly, they may just find another place to rent even if their lease hasn't expired. The bottom line is, it's usually more cost effective to take care of your bed bug situation right away. And the reason being is that you'll likely end up paying more for it if you do avoid the issue for too long. Alright, so that about covers most of what you need to know in these situations. But before we go, I'm going to quickly answer a few frequently asked questions. 
Yes, most lease agreements typically include clauses that outline a landlord and tenant's responsibilities regarding bed bugs. It'll often cover who's responsible for treatment costs, what the tenant's rights are, and whether the landlord has any other special requirements. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Getting rid of bed bugs in an apartment building can be pretty difficult. These little critters are super resilient and jump from one unit to another faster than you can decline a bat tenant application. But there are some things you can do to decrease your risk of infestation and speed up the treatment process. And these things can include having a reliable exterminator on call, identifying infestations early on, and getting tenants on your side so you have some help. Yes, as a landlord, you have to guarantee an implied warranty of habitability when renting out a unit. So if a unit goes infested with bed bugs, you're in a violation of this requirement and may be held liable for any damages, such as hotel costs. And with that said, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you learned everything you need to know about responsibilities of a landlord when it comes to bed bugs. Effective management is everything in these situations, and a property management software like Doorloop can help. It simplifies tenant communication and maintenance oversight so you can fix problems like bed bugs much faster. If you're interested, you can sign up for a free demo on our website, doorloop.com, if you'd like to learn more. Thanks for watching and check out this video for more property management tips. See you soon.